Hey everyone, I wanted to do a, uh, a quick video and I wanted to talk about SEM Rush traffic and uh, why I like to use it uh, for all my keyword research um, when, when trying to find uh, niches. Um, if you've never heard of SEM Rush traffic, uh, it's probably one of the best keyword research tools uh, that shows competitors research, shows organic and AdWord keywords uh, for, um, you know, a site or even a domain name. I mean, it just gives you a, a ton of information. Um, even if you wanted to, um, you know, like if you went to flippa.com, for instance, and you found um, a website um, that you saw that was getting a lot of traffic and it was making a uh, decent revenue each and every month. So let's say that you wanted to, you know, look that up. Cause I know I did the, the video on Flippa about how to find niches. Um, so just to kind of give you an example, uh, we'll go back to that other video, um, that, uh, I mean that other website, excuse me, that, where I talked about, um, you know, I think it was, uh, wedding, uh, .com. Okay. So for instance, uh, with SEM rush traffic, you can actually put in, uh, you can enter a domain name or a keyword. Uh, or URL and and basically search that website so you can really get an idea of what that website's all about so if I just copy and paste weddingpicks.com um, and I enter the web address or URL uh, into that search bar and I do a search on that website it's gonna give me uh, basically it's a domain uh, overview report so it's going to show me that the organic search traffic for that site, according to SEM Rush Traffic, is only about 422 um, visitors a month. I mean, and, and that's you know what they're basing it off of, and that's the organic search traffic that's coming from Google. Um, and so down here, you can kind of see the website is uh, kind of aged. Um, you know, it, it's been on the net since uh, here we'll just go ahead and open this up let me just go to that website <clears throat> so you know looking at this okay site age four years old uh, you know which it's it's reflected here um, in the in the graph um, we'll also look at um, well based off that traffic um, you know it says unique visitors those have to be uh, from repeat visitors um, that come back to the site because according to SEM rush traffic analytics it's not getting that many visitors from organic uh, search traffic um, so I mean their top keyword here wedding picks um, in Google only yields about 2,400 searches a month and that's about 73.93 percent of their traffic and of course everything else is you know 100 480 110 uh, and so forth here. So being that it's an established site, they probably have like maybe an email newsletter or something that uh, they send out. And so, you know, they get people that, that basically come back to their site. So, I mean, as you can see the financials, uh, gross revenue, uh, $145 net profit, 125. And of course their AdSense revenue is only $45. So, I mean, that kind of makes sense, um, so to speak, uh, because they just don't have the traffic. Um, even though they're stating that they have, um, you know, 3,000, uh, what was it? Uh, let's see here, 3,017 unique visitors. So, yeah, so they have uh, like an online wedding album that they have. So that's probably why a lot of people um, come back to this website. Uh, even on compete.com uniques up here at the top, I have my SEO book. Uh, which gives me all the information on the site and of course SEM rush traffic here is 851 that's the value um, 851 dollars right here that's the traffic cost so if somebody was to uh, a company or somebody else that wanted to advertise on Google AdWords then um, they could expect to pay about 851 dollars a month uh, in order to get the kind of traffic that they're getting which which is not a lot um, so I mean just looking at that uh, right there um, you know again you know when you look at sites um, and, and you want to copy them uh, not necessarily copy them but if you know like on the flippa.com domain name we, we talked about wedding cake pictures but you can also do wedding cake pics 
Um, you know, again, they create albums. It doesn't look like they have a blog, so they're probably not really um, doing a lot of content marketing. Uh, it looks like they just have online wedding albums so people can go there and create an online wedding al album or whatever, organize the pictures and so forth. Um, so that's probably why that their revenue is not all that great. But, you know, I like using SEMrush traffic uh, just for the simple fact is that it gives me all this information uh, about a website. So if we go back to uh, Flippa, let's just try to see if we can find another one that will actually have uh, better stats uh, in SEMrush, just so you can kind of see the difference. Because a lot of times, um, you know, especially myself, if I go in here, um, even on sites that aren't verified analytics or not even AdSense verified, um, I still like to go in there and run that website through SEMrush traffic um, just because it's going to give you the, the breakdown of that entire site. I mean, in fact, it'll even tell you, uh, of course, all of this is organic. They have no paid search. Um, so it'll even tell you if they're running uh, campaigns on Google AdWords. It'll show you their backlinks, um, you know, where they're getting them from and so forth. This particular site has 27,000.2 backlinks. Um, which is a lot, um, but again, you know, it's been on the net for, you know, four, probably five years. Um, it'll also show you uh, photoalbum.eu. So again, like I said, uh, you can get uh, tons of information uh, about any website that you want to research with scmrushtraffic.com. Uh, um, so let's just go back. Let's just look at another one that, that's got some claims. Um, let's see, let's see, we can go to established sites, reserve met. <clears throat> I'm just trying to uh, find one that's, that claims to make a ton of money. Uh, MLM diary, multi-level marketing diary, I'm assuming, dot com, uh, says 30,000 uniques, PR one site, uh, making it about 2,200. So let's just take that, and then we'll go back up here and enter it in mlldiary.com and search for that particular uh, search that particular website, I should say, and see what it comes up to. So here, um, you know, they're saying they get um, 30,000 uniques a month, making $2,200. Organic search traffic shows that, uh, I mean, one. So they have six positions in Google. So where they're getting their traffic, I have no idea. And then, of course, you can look at this chart here. Um, and, of course, you know, again, uh, it doesn't look, uh, like it's a very good site whatsoever and then the top keywords as you can see 141% uh, of their traffic they only get 30 visitors a month from organic search so again um, this is just a great way to really you know when, when you're going to flippa.com and you're trying to find websites um, you know that, that you want to get niches off of uh, so to speak uh, this is a great way to break them down now you know the cool thing about it is is that semrush.com uh, um, they will allow you to do like five searches uh, for free uh, a day. So, you know, you know, I'm a paid monthly member on it. Uh, again, it's like $69. But if you, you know, just wanted to test this out for yourself, uh, you can go there and just create an account, you know, just sign up, just register with them. Uh, that's all that they ask. And so you can go in there and like I said, you get about five uh, free searches a day. So if you wanted to try it out, um, you know, just to see uh, how it works, kind of familiarize yourself with it. Um, you know, you can do that. So let's just go to another one, giant freaking uh, robot, um, whatever that is. <clears throat> so again, uh, so they're showing about 9,000, uh, you know, about 9,000 monthly visitors from organic search traffic, which is pretty good. Um, you know, you can look at here, the thing 2011, giant freaking robot. I mean, I don't know what that is, but uh, it looks like at the peak, um, which was in September 2014, it looks like they had 18,000, um, right at 18,656 visitors uh, a month. Um, so, you know, I mean, that's not bad. And he's claiming that, um, you know, he makes about $1,200 a month off AdSense. So, you know, that's, you know, that's pretty decent just for a, you know, a website. And, uh, you know, in my next big niche course, um, you know, that you've probably already seen on my Facebook page or you've already seen on my YouTube channel and stuff like that. Um, you know, I teach you how to build websites uh, like this that really uh, rank for, uh, you know, some, you know, really high traffic and organic search and, uh, you know, backlinks and stuff like that. Uh, but the ones that I build are a little bit higher than that. But um, I can't really, you know, uh, 
you know, release those to you. Um, but uh, again, you know, this is what I normally do uh, when I use SEM rush traffic if I want to do website research. Um, now, the other cool thing about it, you know, we went back to, uh, you know, the wedding cake pictures or whatever. Um, you know, when you're trying to find niches, uh, just to give you an idea, you know, you do wedding cake pictures. You know, we talked about that in, in the last video. So, you know, the volume is 1.6K uh, um, for that. But over here on the keyword research, now, as you can see, all this is, is broken down. You have the overview, advertising, the display research, the backlinks. Um, so, you know, if, if you put in a website, then obviously it would tell you the backlinks and so forth. But you can also do the keyword research, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, it'll give you frats, uh, phrase match keywords, which has got 91 of them. And of course, you can view the full report. Of course, this is for the paid members, but you can still get a breakdown of some keywords with those five free searches like I talked about. Um, again... Uh, wedding cake pictures. It shows you ads, uh, organic search results. It'll show you who's ranking um, for that. So that's kind of important to know who's ranking uh, for what because sometimes if you see like WebMD or you know Wikipedia or something like that, um, you know listed in the top five or whatever. I mean, I wouldn't pursue that niche um, just because. I mean, you'll you'll never rank for it if those two are up there in the top ten. Um, so with the full report, we'll just do a full search. So underneath here, over here on keyword research, we'll just do a full search. <clears throat> and then it's gonna give me, um, you know, still there's only about 91. Of course, this is a, a you know, kind of a small uh, type of niche. There's not a lot, the, the highest volume on it is like 4,400. Um, but let's just go to one that I know. You know, I talked about in that last video about coconut oil. Um, just to kind of show you now the what I'm getting ready to show you now is uh, exactly what you want to look for when you're trying to find niches okay um, I mean this is what you want your SEM rush traffic to look like so you know when I told you I build authority sites I build authority sites I go after those those big niches that have low competition and the reason why is because you know you're gonna get more traffic and obviously the more traffic than you that you get then the more money that you're gonna make Okay, and just coconut oil by itself yields about 250,000 searches a month. And as you can see the trend here, it's pretty steady. Okay, so coconut oil is very, very, very popular. Um, even the second volume of monthly search is coconut oil for hair, which yields 60,500. Now, you remember on wedding cake pictures how you saw 4,400? And then beneath that, it was like 100 volume search, 30, 40, 40, 40 for each additional keyword. Well... You don't want to go after any niche that has that kind of volume. If you'll notice this, coconut oil uses 40,000, 33,000. Coconut oil benefits, 27,000. Coconut oil pulling, 27,000. Coconut oil for skin, 27,000, 22,000, 18. We're still in the 8,100 8, searches a month, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000. I mean, and, and it goes on and on and on and on. Um, I mean, you have all these keywords right here, a whole page of them. Um, even at the bottom with your lowest keyword is 1300 searches a month so with this being said if you look at all these different keyword phrases here I mean there is a gazillion uh, I mean amount of content that you could write uh, for this website I mean you could do coconut oil for yeast infection coconut oil for skin eating coconut oil coconut oil diet nutrition stretch marks olive oil ex uh, eczema uh, organic virgin benefits, uh, coconut oil lube, pure coconut. I mean, it just goes on. I mean, you could build a website literally on coconut oil, um, and basically, I mean, you just have unlimited amounts of content that you can rank for. And so, if you look over on the competition side of it, you can see some of these, I mean, only have 1 million, 4 million, 90, 927,000, 701,000. I mean, and it goes on and on and on. So there's some stuff that you could actually write content on, um, you know, just a, an article, you know, maybe six to 800 words. Uh, and you could write one oil, pull them a coconut oil. It has hardly any competition. Cost per clicks, 82 cents. But that keyword, you know, will yield you about 8,000 searches a month. And it's only got 721,000. So I hope I'm giving you a good idea 
uh, of what I look for when I find niches. So even if you get uh, a domain name, you know, for like co uh, coconut oil for skin .com or whatever, even if you don't rank for that particular keyword that yields 27,000 month, uh, monthly searches, um, then there's other content that you can write and you can collect all of this other search traffic, okay? Which is gonna make you an authority in that particular niche if you if you did a niche on coconut oil. So when you start adding all of these up uh, for every piece of content, you know, before you know it, um, you know, you're gonna, you know, be getting 30, maybe 40,000, maybe even 100,000, you know, visitors a month. Um, you know, this is basically what I do is that I take niches like this, I find one that yields a lot of monthly searches, but then I look at all the content beneath it. If there's high search volume every month with a lot of content uh, below that, a lot of keywords that you could use for content, that's what's going to make you a successful uh, niche website. And it's going to start bringing in a lot of money each and every month. So I hope you get a good idea of SEM rush traffic, um, why I like to use it, the information that it gives you. Um, I mean, it is just, uh, I mean, it, it's worth every penny that I spend each and every month because it helps me tremendously uh, uh, find the things that I need in order to be successful online. Uh, again, you know, they have related content and ad history. Again, like I said, you get five free searches every month. So, uh, you know, go over to semrushtraffic.com. I'll put a link beneath this video. So if you want to go over there, you know, sign up. Like I said, they give you five free searches. Uh, I'm sorry, five free searches a day. Uh, it might be good to like refresh your browser or whatever each and every day because they do keep tracking cookies. Uh, but other than that, you'll be able to uh, just play around with it. And I mean, grab Facebook, grab Twitter, I mean, whatever, just so you can kind of look at their stats as well. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, you know, please leave comments below. Please subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.